Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for joining me again in the TMD build part two. So the first stage is to get the base. Now you need to make sure that the drain covers are facing upwards and you need to glue on these four sides and I have used super glue. Now this is just the cheap one that you get from uh, Screwfix Direct. So that is stage one. Stage two, we need to glue in this. Now I've had a good look at the piece and I can't see that there's a right way or a wrong way of gluing it. So let's stick that piece in next. And let's give that a few minutes to set before we stick the next piece on. So the next stage is to fit this large piece here. So let's get some super glue on there. Let's get this piece stuck down. Okay, so the next stage is to glue these in. Now there's four of them. And these are what the chairs sit in. They're the chairs, that's what holds the track into place. So these need to be carefully glued in. The two big ones go to the outside and these two smaller ones go in the inside. But you need to be really careful. You need to use these chairs as alignment so you can glue them in correctly, but do not glue the chairs in yet. Put the glue towards the back. Pop a couple of chairs in. Quickly try and get it all aligned. Like that. Let's do the rest. Okay, so I glued in all four pieces, which are the chair support pieces. And next, we're going to glue the side pieces in place. Plenty, plenty glue. Make sure we get it nice and level. Stuff sets pretty quick. Right, so we've got both sides on, and these little pieces will go there. Another one at the other end. And these pieces will go like that. And I'm not going to fit these on just yet until we start to push the track through. So what will happen is these little chairs will sit in these holes and then what you'll do is you'll push the Code 100 rails through the chairs and to there. So I've cut um, the hole in the baseboard 
and unfortunately there was a, a wooden support there so I've had to do some woodwork underneath to uh, allow this to fit in. Now West Hill Wagon Works very kindly give you a template. I didn't use that, I just measured the hole and then uh, cut it out with the jigsaw. Did the woodwork underneath to move the support, uh, put it in. I didn't super glue it in, I've made the hole very tight and I've just put a tiny bit of PVA on there just in case I ever decide to move my layout around and want to have something different. And as you can see, there is four LEDs this side, four LEDs this side. I've glued these six pieces of MDF into place. And I've also connected it all up to my track. So I can have two locomotives in the TMD. I can have three locomotives at the far end and two locomotives at the front. So I've got plenty of storage. Now, one thing I do need to say is that this kit is actually meant for the um, Arkman TMD, um, but it's extremely expensive. So what I've used is the Gage Master TMD Ford Hampton one. Now, as you can see, it just fits over the uh, the pit, so it does fit. But I've had to modify the maintenance platforms, which I'll show you next. Now, I've pushed the maintenance platforms into position. Um, they haven't been finally glued just yet. But I just want to show you what I've had to do to modify them. The two end maintenance platforms I've had to cut a little bit off so I can get the ladders in because this kit is meant for the Barkman uh, maintenance depot and not the gauge master. So I've had to modify it a little bit. I've not put a ladder in this end, but there is a ladder there. So that's how I've done that. And on the West Hill Wag Works paperwork, it has the lines in white, but I've decided to do mine yellow, but I'm not overly happy. I think I've done the, the yellow lines too thick. So I might, probably in spring, that's no, just too cold at the minute, rub these down and repaint them. But I want to show you guys something really quick. So there's my class 37 diesel loco. And what I've had to do so if you look at the maintenance platform, I've had to sand two to three millimeters off the edges because it was catching the locomotive. Now, I haven't done the middle one purposely just to show you, but that is actually touching the side of the locomotive. So what you need to do is sand two to three mil off each side and test fit everything before you try and put a locomotive in. Otherwise, you could risk scratching your locos. So that's it. My uh, TMD building is in place. I've still got to uh, paint the doors, but I'll do that another day. Uh, I've got a side door here to paint. Uh, I don't know if to uh, have a hard standing area there. Not really sure. Um, but that's it. All done. Uh, I can't recommend this kit highly enough. Uh, it is an absolutely fantastic piece of kit. Um, my advice would be to pre-paint everything before you assemble it and test fit everything. Every last thing that you fit, make sure you test fit it before you glue anything into place. But I can't recommend this kit highly enough. I'm just going to quickly show you now the TMD with all the lights off. So that's it guys, the build is finished. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all again very soon.